Hey everybody, uh, it's been a while since my, my last uh, video. Just wanted to share a few things and kind of give you some updates and and uh, I'll be putting this, finally putting it together. Uh, the first thing, the reason why it took so freaking long, this enclosure right here, this is from uh, DIY electric skateboards, uh, something, something. Uh, also, I was getting emails from from torque boards they took forever it was a nightmare i ordered this along with some adapters and it took them over a week to respond and they said oh we don't have the adapters so you need to buy a whole new vesk and i was like i don't need the vesk i just want the adapters if they're not in stock then just send the enclosure well it took them over a week to respond to that and I said, oh, so you just want the enclosure? I said, yes, please, just send the enclosure. Um, and a week after that, they, I still hadn't heard anything. So I emailed them again. I said, what's going on with my shipment? Uh, on their online, it says that it should take three to four days. And I, I didn't get anything. So I emailed them again and... Uh, a few days later after that, I finally got an email notification that it was the, the enclosure had been shipped and they refunded me the, the adapters, even though the adapters are still on sale on their website. So just, I wouldn't, I'm never going to order from them again. They just, it's been a pain in the ass anyway. So that's, that's why uh, you can see that I've kind of, I've already put some holes. I had to put some holes in it because it didn't come with the holes. But I put the, uh, the power switch there, uh, the, the, the plug for the battery there, and here in a minute I'll, I'll hook up the, uh, uh, the sensor wires for the, for the motors. But I wanted to show you that um, I ended up using, and right now I just have it, I have it screwed into the board with some glue, but I wanted to find something that would act as a seal between the enclosure and the board and I couldn't, couldn't find anything really so what I ended up doing was I went and found one of these uh the rubber mats they usually get for like anti-fatigue uh on the floor and I just put the put the enclosure over the top traced around it and I mean, you can see the mark right there and then I just cut. Um, you can see that I did cut a little groove all the way around just so that the, the enclosure sits inside this. Uh, just as a little bit more protection, a little bit more vibration protection, waterproofing, all that kind of stuff. So like I said, right now I'm just, I'm just gluing it to the board. Um, and then I will hook everything up, make sure that all the connections are correct with the motors um, and then screw it back down to the board before I get to work on the get the the battery the battery uh, adapter that's gonna go on the other side and then the wire is going to come and plug into the enclosure about here so oh uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Got the enclosure all stitched up. So I ended up taking a uh, a little solder gun and just etched, you know, heated up that little channel so that the enclosure would sit nicely, just right in that little little seal. And then I put the screws in, and you can see the little nut there on the bottom side, where I'm attached to. Um, so yeah, it came out nice, it's nice and firm in there, uh, it's not going anywhere. Uh, I still need to seal up where the wires come in a little bit. Um, it's actually on right now, you can see. Um, and I wanted to show you that it's still, there's still some issue with the vibrations. 
and I went through the the Unity, the VESC tool again, um, just to see uh, if I could find anything. And uh, I adjusted the throttle and the, the power input is set to 60 amps. And I think this thing, the, this is the two and a half amp. I think it only pulls like 40 amps. So I adjusted that just to see. And then I, the, uh, the throttle, like the curve, the power curve uh, on that setting, I, I set it so it would slow down. And so here's, here we go. Nice. Still vibrates a little bit, but uh, it's looking good. Now all I need to do next is attach the this power adapter. I'm gonna actually attach it to the to the top, and then have the wires run down and, and I'll uh, secure them to the bottom here but that's next um, one thing I, I don't know if you guys need it or want it but then and I'm not getting paid for this either so just so you know this right here this little electric by Roby the the air pump has been invaluable if you don't have one of these I suggest you get one and the other thing that's been really awesome has been has been the uh, the wireless uh, or the cordless wires, the cordless uh, suit hot glue gun by Ruby as well. Just so it's been really easy to use. I like them, and of course, the little soldering iron uh, heats up really well. Um, I've actually got a few of the Ryobi products just since last Christmas. They've been working really well. I've been really impressed. And um, if you've ever wondered about them, don't want to just grab one. They're really easy to use and so handy than doing a manual hand pump anyway um i'll be back here in the next video to show uh putting this together and uh some test runs okay just wanted a real quick video i was playing with this after uh i finished that last one i wanted to uh see how it went in the, here in the backyard and uh, the grass is dead and probably not the best environment but i wanted to see how well it works so here we go so i'm just gonna send it off that way okay ready set Ooh. that was nice nice look good all right Till next time.